Here is Republican Dean Heller in Nevada today. Do you support doing away with funding to Planned Parenthood? Will you commit to the women and to the people of Nevada that you will protect the funding at the federal level? At the federal level? Yes. Yeah, we'll continue. We'll continue to look at this issue. We'll no. continue to look at this issue. How many Russian spies do we have to have in the White House before you investigate it? When I hear that Donald Trump wants to severely cut the EPA budget, I'm angry. This is not acceptable. We cannot go backwards, okay? I'm a native Nevadan, I'm one of your constituents, and quite frankly, you don't really represent me. This crowd is sometimes very contentious. Uh, yes, there were chants, uh, there were boos, and there were hisses. Heller and Amade were both on the hot seat facing a large crowd of people, mostly from the opposition party. Senator Dean Heller and Congressman Mark Amade may have walked into a hornet's nest at this town hall meeting, starting with the very first question. Why not meet with Mayor Garland and, and give him an up or down vote? Two of the biggest topics were the funding of Planned Parenthood and the possible repeal of the Affordable Care Act. I would not be alive if it wasn't for the ACA. A stressful couple of hours for Congressman Mark Amaday and Senator Dean Heller this morning as they fielded some angry questions from their constituents at a town hall meeting. The mood of the town hall was rowdy and raucous at times, especially when people in attendance didn't get a very direct answer to their questions or didn't get the answer that they wanted to hear. decisions in Washington have made you so reticent to meet with members of the public. How do you think these actions will help your chances for re-election? Senator Heller was targeted by a number of constituents. Many said they've been frustrated in their quest for answers after trying to contact his office and felt they were not getting answers today. I'm asking you only you, Senator Heller, you yeah. who posted these comments, right. do you think your comments hurt or help our nation? We ought to have a dialogue, and that's what we're having today. That's not an answer to my question. Many said they'd waited too long for this meeting and complained their attempts to contact the congressman and especially Senator Heller in other ways had been less than successful. The crowd was often impatient, even with each other, but especially when they felt they weren't getting straight answers. Yes or no? First of all, first of all... Uh, Topics range through immigration, public lands, Yucca Mountain, and the environment. But one topic dominated. And stop trying to repeal the ACA just because it has the name Obama on it. Heller says he thinks things like Planned Parenthood funding, the environment, and public lands should all be left in the hands of the state, not the federal government. And like you might imagine, most of the crowd disagreed with that too. Other questions were evaded. We have 200,000 people here in the state of Nevada through Medicaid expansion. So you will not that support anything in my school. Yes sure, or no? I want to make Congress sure you pulls, have that's that. That's my question. He's a hypocrite would not answer my question. He would not answer most of the questions here today. And, you know, this is why Dean Heller is so harmful to us. On President Trump's proposed cuts to the Environmental Protection Agency... Probably wouldn't pass. support most Simple of them. They didn't quite say it right out. I had to stop them a few times and kept saying to them, yes and no, yes and no, yes and no. Just give me a yes or give me a no. We continue to ask these questions, and he just skirts around the issue. Senator Heller, did you take any money from the Koch brothers to support Scott Pruitt to fight green energy and green jobs in Nevada? That was the question. Oh, that's the question. All right. Yeah, may or may not have taken money from the Coke industry. Outside today's town hall, many gathered to voice their opposition to Senator Heller and Congressman Amade. Hundreds who had hoped to get inside the town hall uh, were forced to gather outside after this event hit its capacity of 600. One of them also criticized the timing of the town hall as being inconvenient for the Congress people's constituents. 
it's just something that they don't really they don't really care about hearing our voices. This is what that's telling me when he has uh, when both of them have uh, town halls at a very inconvenient time where people can't be here. I want to ask Dean Heller, why are you supporting Trump? Now, neither Heller nor Amday has a future town hall planned, but they both said this morning that they will take a look at adding more town hall dates both here and in southern Nevada. A lot of individuals, conservatives that come out uh, when Obama was president, and now we're seeing just the opposite with Trump as president. So I think we can anticipate seeing a lot more of this in the future.